Uh, now, I want to bring in Rula Jabril, a professor of propaganda and genocide at the University of Miami. She's an author, she's a journalist, and she's a friend of mine. Uh, Rula Jabril, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. So, when you're looking at this situation from the perspective of how it stops and gets to a better place than it is right now, what does that look like? Well, Chris, if we are talking about Hamas or we're talking about the Palestinians in general, uh, so if I want to compare what happened on October 7th, to 9-11, for example, and I look at the successes and the failures of the war on terror, 20 years, $8 trillion, the Taliban are back in power, even though the objective was to eradicate the Taliban, and Iran controls Iraq, and that was a success for the Iranians. So in that policy, within the midst of all its failures, there was one success that I think very important to point out to. When General Petraeus went to Iraq, and he understood radicalism, extremists very well. He understood one rule, which I think is really important. You cannot kill your way to defeating an ideology. You cannot kill your way. You have to basically address the underlying crisis that feeds this ideology, that strengthens this ideology. He believed that killing civilians in masses actually strengthened the ideology. So what he did in Iraq was a surge, what he called the strategy, the surge. And the surge was a surge of idea, not military surge, not bombs, which separating the civilians from the extremists, ending their subjugation, and give them an option that is more an alternative to those extremists. Give them freedom, give them self-determination, give them hope, give them you know, economic prosperity. And this is when a terrorist, Iraq, uh, terrorist attacks in Iraq and I was a war correspondent, went from 50 terrorists a day to zero, zero immediately after the implementation. So if we take that strategy, I think, and we implement that strategy in Gaza or even in the West Bank, by the way, with all eyes on Gaza, what's happening in the West Bank is worries me a lot because in the last week, we had 120 Palestinians killed. There's no Hamas in the West Bank. And this plays into the narrative that this is not only a war in Gaza or only on Hamas, it's a war more on civilians. And I think this is dangerous for the overall strategy in defeating extremists. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.